Hey everybody, it's a glider cat and it's time to play. We're back in Evo space and we've got a lot of stuff to discuss this episode. <laughs> so let's see, actually, let me show you something I did kind of between episodes. It's not, uh, not that groundbreaking or anything, but uh, I'll show you that. And meanwhile, I will discuss what I've been kind of thinking about for this episode and probably the next several episodes. So well, as we make our way over there, uh, thinking about what to do now, right? In terms of our factory, we've got some remaining cleanup to do. Um, there's just some ugliness with, you know, uh, having extra power and kinetic energy feeding atmospheric condensers where they're not needed. Like this kind of thing could all be cleaned up. None of this is actually needs to be, needs to be here. In fact, this whole area probably doesn't even need coke production. We can just run power over here. Anyway, so there's that kind of cleanup. There's the cleanup related to upgrading to 18.1. I think we've cleared most of that. I think we're kind of back to where we were before the upgrade. I think everything that we had placed prior to that is now working and the recipes here are, are just chugging along fine. We don't need to unlock any research or anything. I think we've done all that in the last few episodes. Uh, but what I was going to show you here is underneath our power generation here, I just carved this area out and made a little access floor and put some lights down here so we can kind of get to things a little easier. It was a little messy down there. And then I expanded some of the platform. Uh, what happened to the trees? The trees are gone. Oh, wow. That's interesting. You remember there? Wow. There were a bunch of trees over here <laughs> and then they've disappeared. I kind of liked the way it looked. I had carved things out so the trees could pop in. So what happened? What, what may have happened here? I think we ran into a bug because, uh, yeah. So I was adding some paths here so we could kind of walk through here. I don't know if you remember before, but I had like a very thin little walkway and you had to kind of dodge a couple trees and all that. So I put some more pavement here that we could walk on and kind of carved out where the trees were and things. And then I went to put some uh, railing here and then a set of chairs, just thinking, hey, if this was like an office park or something, you might have like an outdoor seating area around the trees and it's kind of pretty. And when I went to place the chairs, Evo Space totally just crashed, completely crashed. And I'd been playing around for about an hour, kind of digging out underneath here and creating that little service room or service floor underneath the main floor. And I thought, oh man, I'm going to lose all my work. I did a bunch of work and I hope I don't lose it. But I was able to load the save and everything looked fine. In fact, I think the trees were here too. But now as I load this save, I'm noticing all our pretty trees are gone. So I guess we'll just have to deal with that. So yeah, that was uh, that's a bit of a surprise. <laughs> that's not what I was planning to show you, but... Yeah, I guess that happened. So we'll clean this up to make it look better now. I don't need it. It's obviously looks crazy the way it is here. So I'll clean that up maybe between episodes. But back to the, the main discussion of what we want to do next. There's a few things we can do. One we talked about was going for the advanced circuits, right? That's kind of the natural progression. Uh, we have basic circuits. That seems to be going just fine. We could go do the advanced circuits. That's one thing. While we're talking about circuits, let's uh, let's go research something while we're while I'm gabbing here and just get through the backlog of things we need to research in the tree. Uh, I'm just gonna pick something at random, sure, just to keep the research going, and we'll I'll try and keep an eye on that a little better. Anyway, so advanced circuits. That's something we could do. Um. The other thing, as I've been building out these different floors, and I know we're, we're going to be putting up walls and stuff, I kind of want to go for vertical designs in this playthrough. Uh, my last series, found, you know, big factory series was Foundry, and we did everything kind of outdoors and pretty much flat. We didn't do multi-story buildings as far as I can recall. Everything's kind of flat and out in the open. And uh, for this playthrough, I want to try and go for more enclosed buildings and more verticality. And then uh, just, just for something different. And then the other reason I kind of want to do that is after this Evo Space series is done, it's going to be a long time from now. I got a lot more episodes I want to record of this, like a lot. Um, but after this, I'm thinking of doing Satisfactory. And Satisfactory, 
you know, encourages vertical building as well. I've only got about 20 hours in satisfactory, so I'm anxious to play that. But uh, so I thought this would be a good, uh, a good time to get more familiar with building scalable designs vertically. What does this take? Uh, circuits. Let's just get that going. Anyway, so yeah, advanced circuits. And then I was talking about the building blocks. So one thing we could do, we're going to be doing a lot of building. And in the comments, someone suggested, hey, you could use concrete. And that would, you know, it speeds up your walking speed if you're walking on concrete instead of all this brick. And if you look, every, I mean, you probably already noticed, it's obvious, everything I've been building in terms of building blocks has been out of this brick. I like the way it looks, but everything doesn't need to be brick, right? And then as I was kind of doing some of the building between episodes here, I was running out of the stone bricks. You know, we have kind of a very low end, <laughs> low volume operation here doing our building blocks. So in addition to pursuing advanced circuits, another option we have is setting up a building or a little factory just for building blocks, right? We've got several different kinds of stone that we can mine and turn into building blocks. Right now, like I said, I've just been doing the basic bricks. I think they look nice. I definitely want to keep using them. But I think it would be cool to have, as we're building these scalable towers, different kinds of buildings, right? We got the poke facility, then we're going to have a, you know, a power plant. We'll see how long the power plant lives. I know we're going to have access to advanced means of power, but we can get a coal burning, you know, electrical plant pretty high, pretty scalable probably um, before we move on to the more advanced powers. That's my assumption. But right now we're doing those with the same bricks. We could have each of these buildings have a different look or different, you know, you leverage a different kind of brick for each of these buildings. So if we look in the, um, whatever the crafting tree here, where are the bricks? Yeah, we got a bunch of different things we could do, right? These are the ones we've been using bricks. There's wood we could kind of make use of red bricks, the dark bricks. Uh, terracotta bricks that requires clay that's going to take a little bit more effort to get to use these but then we got the concrete and the concrete bricks um then we get into like reinforced concrete now these are expensive they use you know i kind of was tracing through the tech tree on these or the recipe for this and these require steel and all that i'm not sure i want to waste steel for decorative purposes at least not yet um but we could definitely be making use of these, a few of these different kinds of building materials here. So that's an option. Build a tower that just produces uh, building materials and stores them up on, um, on the new shelving units, right? That's the other thing that I haven't used. I got some placed, or no, here's one right here, right? I was just kind of experimenting with these. But it'd be cool to start using these things too and maybe load up with different building materials and I can just come by and pick up a bunch. And then if we scale up that production, I won't be waiting for it because I've, I've been kind of running out of our, of bricks as I'm, as I'm working between episodes. So that's an option. Build that up, have a bunch of bricks. We know we're going to be building a ton of buildings in this playthrough. Might as well get that going. And then again, leverage the different colored stones and stuff and just kind of have fun with it a little bit rather than having all these same color bricks. All right. The other thing, the third thing, the thing that I, I'm actually most drawn towards is reworking our level one circuits. <laughs> now we've, we've already got this down. It is working. It is meeting the immediate need. But admittedly, if you look at this, this is pretty, this is pretty ugly, right? It's not terribly scalable. I think towards the end of last episode, we were talking about, um, maybe building advanced circuits up on this platform and just belting up a line of the level one circuits and using those as inputs to the advanced circuits. And that's something we could still do, but the more I've been thinking about it, I'm kind of leaning towards making this building just exclusively for level one circuits. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And the reason for that, or one of the reasons or observations that led to that 
Because if we go back into the tree here, let's go pick a research, actually. We'll try and keep this going. I'm just going to pick some things at random. Whoop. Get back in there. Let's just pick stuff at random. This guy, sure. Go. Um, yeah, the reason for that, if we go back into the crafting tree here, I was looking at where are, you know, where are the different circuits as we make them? Where are they used? Because uh, my initial thinking was that these are only really used for research. And before 18.1, once you had advanced circuits, it didn't look like you're ever going to need regular circuits again, other than for making the advanced circuits. But as I looked at where these things are used, uh, you can see that the circuits are used for kind of a bunch of stuff. And the same goes for the advanced circuits, right? If I go into advanced circuits and I see where these things are used. The filtering arms, pipes. So it'd be nice to have a supply of these off to the side as well as um, as well as having these available and, and hooked up to computers to complete the research tree. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking about is taking this building and turning this into a vertically scalable level one circuit building. And that's all that happens here. And we bring in this wood production for the circuit boards, bring that in underneath the roof here or inside the building, and then restructure the way we've got the machines laid out. And I'll talk about that in a second too. I've got a different approach in mind for how to feed multiple inputs into these assemblers without having to go underneath like we're doing. I'll show you. So right now, I can get down here. We've got this goofy thing. We're pulling the output product from the machine and feeding it underneath just basically to get around this belt and to hide some of the ugliness. Now, I know you can tilt machines on their side. I know you can, uh, you can insert into a machine. Jeez, can I get up these stairs? This is another little kind of glitch, having the door <laughs> right above a hole uh, that we can fix too. But yeah, I know we can tilt these machines all different ways. We can, I could stack, I can probably stack an inserter like up here, like, uh, like, whoops, like that. But that just looks to me, it just looks horrible. And I'm kind of playing for, I'm not really racing to get to the end of the tech tree. I'm kind of just playing to have fun along the way on the journey. Just take my time and explore the game, kind of have fun. So it could be a very long series, given that play style. But I came up with an idea of how to do the this uh, feed these things a little better. That was my original point. Let me uh, let me craft another assembler if I can. I don't think I've got. I don't think I've got one on me. It right. Oh, and then we can use this inventory sorter more too. I haven't been using that. I know I've got one, at least one viewer that really likes me to use that, so I'll try to use that more often. Let's see, assembler atmospheric condenser. I don't see it. Let's build one. Do we have a steel level assembler? So we got more research. Let's go pick one real quick. Again, I'm just picking these at random to keep things kind of moving. Let's look for assembler. Steel assembler. All right, we're building one up. Apparently, I had the stuff I needed on me. But yeah, I just want to show you what I was thinking of doing if we re because we're probably going to, I'm thinking of tearing all of this out. But I'll show you, maybe we can go up a floor and just have an open blank slate there. Just experiment a little bit here. Let's go into inventory and grab that assembler. Where did you go?
Boom. So that's our that's our dude. We got power over here. So let's see. Do I have cable? I got tons of cable. So zero. So we're gonna have our cable coming off there. We can't do much about that. But we can have inserters here and here, and we can have one here that feeds into that. And then in and then we can have one over here, obviously, that does the same kind of thing. And then these guys, just doing this for the first time. Hey, I'm waiting for something. Oh, I think my little fan controller for my computer just came on. That's why it's uh, I had a little bit of a lag there. These guys actually, yeah, they're on the ground. All right, so I can get four inputs into this inserter or this assembler just from this side. And then if we want to, um, so if we had, let's see, show you what I'm thinking here. Sorry, this is a bit meandering. But if we had our inputs coming across this way, let's see, like this, and then uh, what I want is alt R. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see, which is the Maybe it's like that. And then Altar. Like that. Although, let's see. Now I got to remember how to use these as in a splitter. Does the input on this thing I probably need a screwdriver, right? So if I want this to act like a splitter and still have. Let me back up and explain what I'm thinking because I'm just kind of mumbling here. But the idea would be if we have the inputs kind of coming along one level up, when it's time to cut over, they can just drop down from where they're at and come underneath all the belts that are going to continue on. So picture it like this guy still comes out. Right, and moves on to the next assembler. So this is the first input for some complicated process. And again, I have to change the configuration of the splitter here. But when it's time to feed into one of these belts, that's when you kind of come underneath. That's when you um, drop down from this, this secondary level. And then you effectively, you know, are able to come underneath all of these other inputs. I don't know if that's easy to explain <laughs> if that makes sense or not, but you could see if I had four inputs that had to go in this, into this assembler, um, they could be traveling along this way, one height higher. And then whenever they need to feed into assembler, they just drop down and cut across and it's fairly consistent, fairly con um, scalable and it might not look too bad. The biggest drawback I can think of is when it comes time to upgrade these belts, doing the vertical step is kind of a pain in the rear if we wanted to upgrade these belts to higher tiers. But with this design, then I can always just have one output, you know, one output belt for this entire line and I don't have to worry about um kind of going underneath or doing, you know, funky stuff with belt weaving. I suppose you could say this is a little funky, but I can get quite a few inputs in this way. In fact, I could even, you know, bring another one over if I want. Let's see. Uh, you know, kind of like this kind of deal and have yet another inserter come in. 
like that, right? So now we got five inputs. They can all come in from the same side, feed into the assembler, and then dump out a single output. And we can't put any more on this side because we got to power the assembler with the power. So we're kind of stuck on this side. But that's kind of the design I was thinking of using to leverage for the circuits and scale up. Now for circuits, we've only got a couple, right? We've only got a couple uh, inputs. So it'd probably, we'd probably just stick to these two, these two belts right here where I've got my crosshairs, boom and boom. But we still may end up, you know, having the belts travel one level up and then just drop down and shoot over where they're needed. That's what I'm thinking about. I probably need to get the screwdriver, right? So I can rotate this thing Let's see, can I do that right now while we're just playing? And again, this, this episode, I apologize. It's going to be a little meandering. I'm going to kind of talk through some of these plans. We might get started on this. We'll see. I just wanted to show you what I'm thinking before, um, before we start moving forward. Let's pick another research again. I'm just picking stuff at random copper wire. Oh, I thought I already had that research, but let's just research it again. I'm obviously producing it. Let's see, I've been consuming circuits just out of curiosity. Have I been running my copper wire line empty? No, it's still producing. So yeah, I'm not sure why I have to unlock it through the tech tree unless I already had a bunch in here or something. I doubt it. Whoop. Yeah, it's, what did I do? That's not a good place to have a hole. Let's fix that, boom. And let's head back up. Ladders, I'm not crazy about ladders. Come through this way and back and then up our stairs. Yeah, and let's see if I can craft a screwdriver and tilt this thing. I did this already, but maybe not. I have not tried it. I know that. So let's grab it. Can I just grab it like this? All right, let's see what this guy does. Rotates. Nope. So the R does not work. Uh, recipes are, how do you rotate this thing? Oh, okay, maybe. No. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. There's a technique here. I don't have it yet, clearly. So this is effectively a belt that I'm rotating. And it's just changing to... Wow. Yeah, this is not what I'm expecting. Oh. I think what I'm trying to do is get the uh, little check mark here port to be the input port. Isn't that right? So let's see. Can I just click that? No. Do I have to drag up? I did. Drag up. Yeah, I am not sure. Let's take a look at the... Uh, let's take a look. I'm going to do research here first, just to keep that going. That'll save us time later. I don't have advanced circuits. I can't do those. Switch is done. Massive power generation. Sounds good to me. Yeah, now how can I get this thing to rotate the way I want it to? Basically, I want to come in and have a splitter that sends product over straight ahead and then straight down. So let's see if I go to logistics, there's, there it is, steel splitter. So I need this, I think. Let's build one. I've got the resources to do it. Yeah, I may have been, I'm not sure how this is, how to work with this, obviously, right? I'm struggling pretty heavy. So I'm going to rip that out. That's just a belt. Let's see if I can make sense of the splitter. There you are. And now I'm going to be able to do something a little better. This looks 
This looks a bit more intuitive, so let's rotate the boom. That's kind of what I want. Oh, look what that's going to involve. Look what that's going to involve. That's going to kind of mess up my, my little plan. Now, can I right click and configure this? Oh, look at this. Okay, steel splitter. I'll put one. Oh, I'll put two. I'll put three. Oh, man. I need a user's manual for this thing. Let's see. Let's pop down a kind of a container full of something to play with. Maybe some bricks. Yeah, again, I apologize if this is going to be a real tedious episode. Go ahead and skip ahead to the next one because we're going to be doing a lot of this stuff. As I learn what the best strategy is for kind of doing vertical movement of the belts and kind of some belt weaving. That's really what I'm doing. All right, let's pop into here and throw some stone. We've got tons of it. Boom. Okay, what's going to happen? Okay, I don't want that. So it's going to go everywhere it can go. Right? So let's. Hmm. This is output one. Can I turn that off? Like zero? And now if I come and grab these guys back. Check it out. I don't like having that little section of belt there, but I can live with it. That is kind of how I envision this thing being configured. Grab this product off. Whoops. Oh, what's going on here, folks? Right click. I just want to grab you and you and you and you and you. Escape out of that. So that is, this is exactly what I'm envisioning. So if that makes any sense, that would be the way to scale this line and have multiple, um, multiple assemblers, the full length, you know, and, and again, and I wouldn't be using bricks here, but I'd be using the circuit boards and the copper wire, I think, to make my basic circuits. And I probably wouldn't use this particular belt. We'd just go for these two middle ones. And then out would come the circuits and we wouldn't need to do the silliness that we're doing the level down here where we're, you know, we're going underground to route underneath. I mean, this looks, looks all nice the way I did it <laughs> in my, in my opinion, my modest opinion, this looks fine, but, uh, it is kind of some unnecessary complication and I think we could get rid of it and have an entire circuit production line on a single floor. It's dark in here and we need some lights too. We'll get to that. But that's what I'm thinking. So now the big dilemma for me, I, I kind of want to go in that direction. We'll look one more time. I'll show you. And let me go ahead and freeze the daylight and then pick another research. Anything, first thing I see, the ore washer. We need that actually soon. But yeah, so that would kind of be the structure. And then maybe whether we keep these blocks here once everything is assembled, I'm not sure. We could just rip all that up. We don't really need this once stuff is placed. We could just stick with the belts kind of coming across this way. I don't know if that would look a little goofy. Or we could strategically put little, you know, fake supports in every once in a while. But that is the idea. So what we need to change, we need to inside on each floor, we would need to have the wood production, right? We'd get rid of the whole, um, all the kinetic energy that we don't need. We'd get rid of the atmospheric condenser. Most likely we fortunately we've got some water nearby. I can just pump that in from underneath. And, but we still need the, this guy for the wood and these guys would all kind of stay the same, but instead of using heat power, we would run electricity all 
all the way from way out there. So we're going to burn through a lot of copper cable, but we'd route power all the way out to this site and then use electric motors for this instead of uh, Sterling engines, even though they look pretty sweet and I love the way the heat pipes look. I want to try and lean as heavily as I can on electric power. I understand that's probably the least efficient, but it just seems to be to be the most convenient in terms of routing the power and having uh, what I think is going to be massively scalable power plants. Now I've, I'm assuming that I can run as much power as I need to through a cable. Like I could have later on, we can get to the super duper high end power generation. I'm guessing I can leverage that same cable and put that power plant anywhere I want. Now I could be wrong and I'd appreciate if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Um, if that is a faulty assumption, but yeah, I'd kind of like to get away from using the heat almost everywhere, right? Unless we absolutely need heat rather generate that heat from an electric furnace and just, like I said, standardize on electricity and route cables rather than, um, rather than the Coke. So that's my plan. So this would be, this would look quite a bit different and it would be inside these four walls. We may have to change the footprint of this building, but we basically have, um, we'd have the copper coming in maybe pretty much like it does. We'd produce some wood and have a belt of that. We would build the boards from the wood. I guess that would all be have to be on the same floor, right? Yeah. These are just wood. So there'd be a line producing these boards and then a line producing the copper wire. And then this would turn into two belts that kind of look like this in parallel. And that would feed a full line of assemblers doing the circuits. And then whatever we get out in terms of quantity per cycle or whatever on this floor, that's all we get out of this floor, but we can add another floor and another floor and another floor. And then uh, scale this vertically for as many circuits as we want. And then I was thinking we could run the outputs from the higher floors down the inside of these walls. Oh, I jumped too far. put some uh, railings up or something. But then out here, we could have a bunch of output ports, just like literally every other one. Maybe we start with every other one just for looks. But yeah, to every one of these, every other one of these things comes a belt of, you know, level one circuits. That's kind of what I'm thinking, right? And these would all be fed from floors going up to the sky. Boom, boom, boom. Now, I don't know that we're going to need tons, so maybe we don't scale it up that high, but you can envision one of these belts might go across the way. Let's see. I'm, ooh, I'm locked up. There we go. One of these belts might go across the way to another building that's doing the level two circuits, right? They'd be an input to that. Maybe another belt would snake around underneath over this way. And there'd be like a small little computer facility where we're leveraging those circuits for our research. So the computers that we got way over here, that are just kind of randomly in here doing, <laughs> doing the research. We could put those off in their own place, not being right in where everything's being manufactured. Let's pick another research. Boom. And just keep this going. How about a mixer? about gold wire I'm just picking stuff at random while I'm talking here keep things moving but yeah that is my plan I'm not sure whether I should go do the building materials first and let those accumulate or whether we should dive into this while it's fresh in my mind because it's fairly complicated and it's quite a bit different fairly involved but I do want to keep it next to our copper mine this is going to change pretty substantially how we process the copper, but we're still going to end up with at least one belt of, you know, these copper bars coming in and feeding our basic circuit factory. So that's the thinking. And it only took 35 minutes for me to, to get that out. So 
Yeah, that's the plan. Wrestling with which one to do first. This, I guess if we, hmm, whichever one we do, we can still keep the research going, right? I mean, the research is moving pretty darn fast for not having uh, that impressive of a setup. Let's see. What can I pick here that we don't have? Anything we don't have? Container. That one doesn't seem to indicate circuits, but I think it did take one. Filtering. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to research. So what should it be? Should it be the, the building blocks first or dive into this? I think I think I'm going to do the circuits first just because this is going to be really, really involved and uh, it's going to require some planning. But let's do it. The downside is it's going to cut down our our research because um, once I stop the circuits <laughs> we're in trouble uh, what I could do is I could put up a shelf store off a bunch of these circuits go do the um, go do the stone bricks let the circuits all accumulate you know keep the research going as much as we can but it's hard to keep up with it because it's stuff is being researched pretty quick But let the circuits accumulate somewhere. Maybe we even belt this, take this belt out somewhere and just let them accumulate over to the side here. And then we can hook the computers up and then we'll at least have a backlog of circuits while we're uh, tearing this all apart and changing it substantially. So there's the research done again. Let's pick a new one. A bunch of the stuff I already had unlocked in the previous version. I got to do it again, apparently. These look like advanced circuits. Deconstructor. Let's just do it. I don't have a use for it. Someone did recommend using this uh, just to recycle some parts. We might use it later. I don't anticipate using it real soon. Let's do that. We're going to tear this up. I'm going to go ahead and route these... Um, circuits that we're producing just out of here and maybe move the computers out too or I can leave those but I just want the surplus circuits out of here out of the way and where I guess I could go up I could go over all this mess I could go down how about How about we just put a shelf here? Uh, let's see. Inserter, robotic arm. Let's do, this may not be perfect, but we can move stuff. I just want to make sure we're saving it. Got the steel shelf here. That probably works, right? And then I think I built a copper shelf when I was just playing around. We'll put one right next to it. Boom, and another robotic arm, three, boom. And then let's build another one. So let's build another two steel shelves. Cause this may, we may be away for a while. So let's go here, craft a couple steel ones. Boom, boom. I think I can pull out of these, hopefully. Let's see. Boom, boom. Just wait for these to craft up. There, where are they? Here they are. You and you. I don't know how many of these can store. I think it's a lot. Let's go ahead and pick yet another research. Where are we at? I'm just going to pick stuff at random. Boom. That's another one that has circuits when I picked it, but it didn't show it on the icon. All right. 
yeah, lots to do. I think, I think we're good over here. We'll see how much the copper shelf stores versus the uh, steel one. I didn't see anything in the, um, anything in the tech tree here. It's not really a tech tree, but uh, the crafting directory. I don't know what you'd call it. What is that thing called? Loot. Loot. Can I just uh, steal item rack? <laughs> item rack. Yeah, I don't see anything here in the pop-up telling me how much this stores, right? I don't know if there's something that gives me a little more information about it or not. I may have forgotten where that is, if there is, but I don't know. But anyway, steel is the best we got. And I just threw this copper one down because I had it. So that should keep things running. And let's see, we are we able to produce that copper wire? Oh, man. What's going on here? Look at this snail's pace. Are we, we're running low on power probably. Uh, what is going on here, fellas? Yeah, it looks like the power is kind of laggy. So that's another thing we'll need to do. We'll probably let this thing keep running. In fact, should we bring the power over first? So bring wire power over here. Go get the building blocks built. Keep pound, you know, keep on top of the research tree. And uh Yeah, let's do that. Let's go grab some copper. I think I have tons of cable though. Let's see. I got tons, right? Tons and tons. I've got plenty of room in my inventory. I'm going to grab some copper blocks. That'll get this factory going again, too. Because I think it's pretty full. Or pretty, uh, yeah, backed up here. In fact, I can pull a few out of here as well. And let's see if this thing springs to life. Or if I've got recipe issues. Looks like since that line is working, I don't remember tweaking anything. I think this is going to be just fine. Yeah. Looks like everything is in motion. So I think we'll be good there. Let's go figure out how we want to wire power from here. We could come under this bridge and come underneath. Right? We're probably going to come. Hmm, how do you want to do it? I'm kind of thinking this is a little bit too far over. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and this is the stuff that's super duper hard to drill through. So it takes forever. I'll do most of this off camera. But I'm thinking of running the cable right through here. So let me grab zero and... Either one of these, this is fine. How far will this let me go? Oh yeah, just barely. I can leverage the corner of the bridge here and it's gonna let me build. That is a time saver for sure. Right, kind of like that. Now, can I continue on? Will this thing drill out for me? I don't know. What if I come all the way over here? It might. It might. We're going to need to come down, though. Okay, that tunneled out for me. Check it out. Nice. Another viewer recommended that approach and mentioned that stuff would clear out automatically. Thanks for that. I may not have tried it. Had I not known or heard that comment. So I'm probably going to go for speed. Now, if I can get this thing to actually build to me, will it build to me? Is there a trick? Uh, it looks like if I stay planted at the ground, it's going to keep building. Oh, that's not so good. Uh, Jetpack. Need to research the jetpack. Figuratively. 
I have it researched. I just need to make one. All right, let's uh, find our way out of here. And let's do the jetpack. And we're jumping around like crazy. Did I make it yet? I think it's research. Let's speaking of research, let's keep this moving. And I'm just picking at random. Atmospheric condenser. Where is that little guy? It's in here somewhere. Uh, I think I unlocked the steel one. What is it called? Jetpack. Yeah. Can we just do jetpack? Jetpack. That looks like aluminum. Do I need aluminum for this? Oh, no. Yeah, it's all aluminum. Shoot, I thought there was a different one. I thought there was a low end one. Maybe that changed with the uh, latest version. Where would that be in here? Boy, I thought for sure there was one. I'm probably gonna scroll right by it if there is, but I'm guessing there isn't now. Would have come up on that search. Well, shoot. No more jetpack till we get to aluminum. Well, so much for that. All right, I just got to watch out for these holes. Uh, let's see if we can get this cable going. Boom. And then I think I just have to look down at the ground. Nope. Apparently not. It's not. Is it going to? Okay, yeah. It, it came over here. And again, I'll make this look better later. Uh, I just want to get it connected. But I'll leave. Probably re reroute this between episodes to something that makes a little bit more sense than what I'm doing. But I basically want to come under all this stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm trying. I think this. Did that do it? Yeah, that did it. And now we got to come over this way. Back, we could tap into this line right here. What makes the most sense? Maybe, maybe this line, right? As far as I can get it. Oh, in the water, not so great. Is there a way I can figure out just? Roughly, nope, that did not build the way I thought. All right, we'll do one more try and then we'll wrap up the episode and I'll do it between episodes. But it seems like we want to come off of this little stem here. Do I have enough uh, cable? Yeah, I got 180 left. Let's see, how long will it let me go? All right, tell you what, this is going to be kind of silly to watch. Let me, <laughs> as I go deep sea diving, let me wrap this one up here. Sorry for the babbling episode, but that's kind of the plan. So if you want to skip several episodes, you might just want to do that. But I'm going to get this power uh, wired all the way over to our circuit plant because we're already short on power and we know we need to route this cable. Eventually, I'll route this maybe under the water or somewhere. I'll hide it, but I just want it functioning first. And then I'm going to work on next episode. We'll get to working on the building a factory for building blocks. We'll set up maybe mining drills for the different kinds of stone and then just produce, you know, shelves or uh, item shelves with each kind of building block so I can go and fetch those whenever I need them. And then we can have a little bit more variety to the buildings and the platforms and stuff. So it's not just all, you know, the brick that I've been using. And then we'll take on the big project of reworking those basic circuits. And then we should be good to move on to advanced circuits. But we're talking, you know, we're talking quite a few episodes before all that's going to be ready. So just, you know, be aware of that. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll stick with me. If not, I'll catch you in a few episodes from now, but for now, for this episode, 
Uh, that is all. This is Glider Cat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.